What's up guys, Duke back from sportsgamers.com and today's Madden 20 tip, I'm going to break down an absolutely unstoppable passing concept that you can apply to pretty much any playbook, multiple formations, it's going to allow you guys to easily attack and beat any coverage, defense, blitz, whatever, out there in the game. Now, I'm going to show it to you guys from single back wing flex close out of the Oakland playbook. Um, this is the the uh you know the offense that i believe is currently the hardest to stop in the game you know went over some stuff from it earlier and i want to break down another money play you guys can add to your arsenal i truly believe that with this hot route master uh you know quarterback with the runs and the dots it's super 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 tough to stop so you can do this from any play um i'm going to come out and stick most of the time Reason for this is you get a better drop back off stick, and you know, because we're just doing hot routes anyways, it really doesn't matter what play you call. So, stick has been one of my favorite plays anyway all year long because of the little uh, option routes, but it's just a great play, period, to use because of the way the drop back is. Now, you guys can do this a few different ways. You're going to either need a hot route master quarterback, or if you don't have one of those, you can just use a slot apprentice, tight end apprentice to do this. Now, Personally, I feel like the Hot Route Master is the way to go. It's very easy to get those types of players these days with the golden ticket quarterbacks out. Now you can have Hot Route Masters, Escape Artist, Dash and Deadeye, all that all on one quarterback. So to me, that's the way to go. Now, if you're on regs, obviously you'll have a little bit limited options. You know, Tom Brady obviously on regs has Hot Route Master. Um, other than that, there are players like Kittle and whatnot on regs that you can have the extra hot routes without having a quarterback. Uh, so you do have options. But anyways... Before we get into the setup, I do want to remind you guys to please subscribe to the channel, hit our subscribe button in the corner of the video, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss out when our videos go live. We upload content almost every day, and it's stuff you're not going to find anywhere else. Now, if you're really rocking me, man, smash that like button, show the love. The support is greatly appreciated to allow us to continue to do these tips for you guys. So, with that said, the route combo I'm about to show you guys is super easy to do and beats any coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the inside tight end, which is A, I'm going to put him on a corner route. Then I'm going to put the outside tight end, which is RB, on a post. Next, I'm going to put the inside receiver, which is B, on a drag. And finally, I'm going to put the outside receiver, which is X, on a hitch. So essentially what we got going on here is we got a dual read on each side of the field that's going to need manual coverage. So on the right side of the screen, my drag is going to work with my corner route. So if I see them playing hard flats, I can throw the corner. If I see them playing cloud flats, I can throw to the drag. Um, now, on the other side of the screen, I have the post that works with the hitch. Uh, the hitch is essentially going to be used to drop underneath zones, and the, hi the hitch is going to allow the post to get open behind it, and the post is going to get underneath all the deep zones in the game. So... Essentially, you're going to have to manly guard two areas and field both sides. It's not possible, which is what makes this so good. So, just to let you guys know, obviously, you can do this from many formations. You can do this from shotgun tight formations, um, split close type formations if you motion someone out. Um, you can do this from a lot of sets. It's not just single back wing flex close. I'm just showing you this concept from here for this example. Now, you can even do this from the near close flex if you guys really want to. It can be applied in many places. Now, as far as abilities on the receivers, uh, I always like to have a receiver and then a tight end. For Personally, for me, at least, at least two receivers or maybe a receiver and a tight end that have the post flag elite, um, streak specialist, cross specialist is good as well. So that definitely makes this better, although obviously you guys don't have to do that. This works great without abilities. As you guys can see here, I don't have really any dominant receiver abilities out here. So let's get into it now. And we're going to go against cover four first. So I'm going to do, first I'm going to do with a hard flat and I'll show it to you with a cloud flat. So if I see a hard flat, I automatically know that corner route's going to be an easy read right up in there every single time. That's not going to be something that they can stop. You're going to be able to hit that pretty successfully, you know, unless they manly guard it. But again, they can't really go manly guard that because if they do, then they leave the middle of the field wide open but you guys can see here it's an easy progression dot to our tight end now as you guys can see here you know we do have chris harris who's a really good corner he actually had his x factor i believe lit up still able to easily get this catch now you'll see that 
Also, you see what I'm talking about over here, is that the hitch draws that underneath coverage so that you can throw the post behind it every time, yet he's going to be underneath the deep zone, so he, he'd be open as well. Now, if they shade up to take that corner out of way, you know, it's going to essentially allow you to hit the drag, okay? So that's going to be our read if they play with cloud flats as we are here. So here's cloud flats, and again, same thing. If they take away the corner, you just throw the drag, and the drag's going to allow you to turn the field and get great yardage. Now, if they're able to manly guard that side of the field, maybe they play hard, or maybe they play cloud flats, and then maybe they just use her the, uh, the corner. Or maybe they play, uh, you know, a cloud flat, hard flat combo over there. Whatever the case may be. If that side of the field is covered well, that's when you want to look at the post and the hitch. Now, the post is going to get open even if they shade up. It's still going to get behind that underneath coverage yet underneath the deep zone. So that's always going to be there. They're always going to have to manually guard that. Now, the great thing about this formation is they can't really blitz you too heavily because of the run threat, which makes passing the ball super easy. Passing the ball from a formation like wing flex close where you have to worry about the dive stretch, you know, powerful runs, just opens up everything for you guys. So you're going to see a lot of base cover two, a lot of base cover four. You're not going to see too many people try to blitz you heavily because they know the run game is going to, you know, is going to beat that. So because of that, you know, our reads are pretty easy when we look to pass the ball. So I love these types of formations. So now we're looking at cover two and we're going to be playing cloud flats this time. So again, against a cloud flat, whether it's a cover two or a, so, some sort of cover, you know, cover three or cover four even, doesn't really matter. You know, the drag is always going to be the main read. And you might just think a drag is just going to get you a few yards, but no, really it's not. You're going to be able to get good solid yardage out of these drags. Uh, as you guys can see there, that's good yardage. We'll take that every time. Now, guys, if they happen to shade down and play hard flats, again, that's when you're going to look to attack with the corner route. Now, I know you guys know that on this year's game, you can throw corner routes behind even cloud flats if you roll out. But here we're just looking at that easy dot on the sideline without having to roll out. If they play hard flats, that's going to be there every single time. Now, if they, you know, again, if they are able to guard that side of the field successfully, that's when you look to the other side where we have, again, the hitch working with the post. Hitch and a post is one of the easiest route combos to use on this year's game. I guess we got a pressure and accurate throw right there, but we'll do it again just so you guys can see how easy that is really to do. Um, again, we're just putting the A tight end inside tight end on a corner, RB the outside tight end on a post, and then we drag the inside receiver, which is B, and hits the outside receiver, which is X. So again, you're going to see this post is just wide open. It's going to be there every single time. They're going to have to manually guard that. And you guys might be wondering, well, what about cover three? You know, again, it's going to get beat very easily. As you guys can see, our reads are wide open. This is, again, this is something that you can use to attack any coverage you face in the, in the entire game. But let's just play cover three. Uh, for the heck of it here, so you guys can see how it works. So again, it's going to be the same setup with the drag hitch and then the corner post. Alright, so this is how it's going to look. Now again, you just simply are going to make your read here. If they have the corner out covered, you throw to the drag. Just like that, free yardage. Now, they shade down. They take away your drag. You throw to the corner out. But if they take away the drag route with the hard flat, that's when you're going to look to hit the corner. Obviously, you can hit the post Hitch combo as well, but the corner should be wide open if they play hard flats. And this is, like I said, this is a super easy read that really any level player should be able to make. There's nothing hard at all about this. So you can see we hit the corner. Again, Chris Harris, he's actually has X Factor lit up. Very good corner. You guys see I don't even have any abilities on my tight ends yet. It's not mattering. Okay? So I did the wrong route combo, but that's where it should look like. But just uh, like I said, on the other side of the field, you can easily go with the corner. I'm sorry, the post and the hitch. Now the great thing I like about this is even if they do decide, hey, we're gonna blitz, blitz, and you know, if they blitz seven and we only block the one, obviously the running back can't pick up both free rushers. But that's the beauty of this play is we have several quick reads, so I'm not worried about it. I can throw pretty much all these reads except for possibly the corner route extremely fast, as you guys can see there. I can just turn around, and throw that hitch and get free yards. If they take away the hitch, I can throw it to the drag coming over the middle. If they take away the drag, I can throw it to the post coming over the middle. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's really, really, really basic reads. I mean, that's what I love about this. This is not hard. This is something that anybody can do. If you take a little bit of time in practice mode to get this down, 
I promise you, you can execute these passing plays as well. And, you know, it's a free five-plus yards, maybe even more, because obviously when they blitz you, you guys know that, yeah, you could get the five, six yards guaranteed, but make someone miss against a heavy blitz, it might be a touchdown. So, again, just really, really easy. Now, again, I don't even really ever face these types of blitzes in wing flex close because they're not the greatest run defense, and people know that this is a great running formation. So you probably won't face too many players playing like this, but if you do, you can just run the ball very effectively, flipping the stretch over and over again, the dive. It's just super simple and super effective. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. This is something you can add into your wing flex close scheme, but it's really just a passing concept in general that you can apply to many formations. It works great overall from any formation you can apply it to it's not just wing flex close i've used it in the tight formations this year as well so hope you guys enjoy till next time it's duke and i'm out of here